after a lawnmower accident. It led to an amputation. It is a story you first saw on WOWT 6 News. Tonight, Aaron Murray has the update and information on these types of accidents every parent should know about. Now two surgeries in, this recent picture shows little Taryn Grolfs is doing well. A relief because Tuesday night was a different story. Her foot was completely gone. There was just bone and, you know, tissue was exposed. It was, it was pretty, uh, it was pretty bad. Um, and then you could just see the skin hanging on the left foot. Her right leg had to be amputated at her calf after she slipped and fell beneath the lawnmower on her father's Council Bluffs farm. Two-year-old Taryn now joining hundreds of children across the U.S. who have been injured by a lawnmower. The amputation statistics are staggering. Each year, 800 children are run over by mowers and tractors, and of those, about 600 of those children have to have amputations. Experts say most accidents can happen in a blink of an eye. You know, children are unpredictable. An equipment operator may have less than a second to react. Brooks, who helps families across the country, does stand firm that these accidents are preventable. Well, the best thing that you can do is keep your kids inside when mowing. At Nebraska Medicine, Taryn's family feeling her medical care is setting her up for a good, healthy future. And we just know that she's going to be, she's going to be fine with it. Now, the lawnmower that injured Taryn did not have a protective cover, but even those extra measures are not foolproof. Now, children are most commonly injured by lawnmowers when they are either directly behind the lawnmower or riding with someone. Again, I'll say it one more time. Best case scenario is just keep kids inside, Mallory. Well, Aaron, we know Taryn still has more surgeries ahead. When is her next one? Yes, her mother told us today that most likely it'll either be Sunday or Monday. All right, thank you. That's Aaron Murray reporting live tonight.